Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and welcome back to the Kingdom of Ireland. And I've had a couple of days to think about the current war situation. If we go ahead and look at the Holy War for the Kingdom of England, it's been going on for seven years. And if we look at the numbers, it's uh, it's really not in our favour, is it? So I think in this episode, we're going to withdraw the levies and take them back to Ireland. Uh, because what we do need to do is defend against this war somehow. Which uh, I also don't think... Eh, the numbers are a little bit better on this one. But we desperately need some allies. Uh, so let's go ahead and sail our troops back to Desmond. If we go ahead and land here. Just because we don't actually have the numbers right now. Uh, and we need to wait for some uh, alliance or allies uh, to come over and help us as well. And then what I'm also going to do is when the King of England sends a white piece again. I think I'm going to accept it this time. Uh, I think this holy war is done for. We tried. It's lasted seven years. Uh, but it, it just wasn't meant to be. And I don't think we can declare this kind of war again either. Uh, sadly. So let's go ahead and sail our way back over here. Uh, at least we can also raise some more men whilst we're over here as well. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually split the armies as well. Just so we definitely have plenty of supplies. Um, what's happened there? There we go. We go ahead and put you guys here. And then we can raise loads of men. Okay, we do have some allies here. So that gives us about 3,900. We got another 1,300 here. The men of Wales are coming in. Uh, how long is left on this siege? Four months. So, that's, so I think we will actually be able to intercept this siege uh, with plenty of time to spare. To the cold-hearted hiking fursu. We will not stand for your vile oppression of good Irish Irish insolence any longer. Oh no, not another war. <laughs> Our time is now at hand. With Saint Kenak guiding us, we will rise up and free ourselves from your heretic heretical rule. Wow. Um Wow. Get the Isles. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. Um, wow, we're in another war now. Okay, so the Irish insularists are fighting against us. Uh, greetings, cousin. May your humus rot in your living body. If it is war you want, then you shall have it. We will not let anybody stop us from forming a new realm for ourselves. Let's go ahead and rally the troops. I mean, they're already rallied. Um, oh, this is... This is problematic, to say the least, isn't it? Let's wait for these uh, um, reinforcements to land. And then what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and stop the Siege of Dublin uh, against our vassal here. Uh, it's given us a, a balanced battle prediction. But hopefully, um, once our reinforcements move in, uh, it will be in our favour. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we can not lose the entire Kingdom of Ireland in this episode. That would be good, wouldn't it? Um, reinforcements... They're not coming in time, are they? They didn't come in time. Wait. Who are you guys fighting? Why is there two battles going on here? Is that what happened? Oh, there's two battles going on, I think. I'm hugely confused now. We're being raided. Okay. We're not going to be able to deal with that raid over there. I'm really confused at what just happened. Um, oh well. We're starting off the day with a, a defeat. That sucks. Uh, did we lose anyone? I don't think we did. At least we didn't lose anyone. Uh, so we got to count our victories where we can. Unfortunately, that does mean that Dublin is going to be sieged. Um, and that could actually end the war. We could lose the kingdom here and now. Oh dear. Uh, that would be absolutely brutal, wouldn't it? Um someone was taken siege my granddaughter uh, was taken in the siege oh dear um as was my heir and son that's not good my other grandson also taken oh this is brutal absolutely brutal stuff um ah this is uh challenging isn't it i think everyone's already joined us in this war can we not sue for white peace, maybe? No, they're winning the war. They're never going to accept that, are they? Um, this is a difficult one. This is really a difficult one. Uh, we need to come back here. Let's go ahead and bring our men back over. Uh, we also need a new commander on this army, I feel like. Yeah, we don't have a commander. We could, we could lead the men. Why not? Let's go ahead and lead the men. Um, what's this? White peace from England. Okay, uh, to the vile high king Fursu. Hasn't enough blood been spilled in this pointless war of yours? 
neither of us stand to gain anything by continuing to fight. Let us make peace. Um, I will actually accept this. There we go. Uh, tales of your misdeeds are told from island to cafe. I accept your offer of peace. Let us put this conflict behind us. Uh, so what's here? We spent 50 piety. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, so at least we, we don't lose too much from uh, having the white peace fair. Uh, that's good. Now we can declare wars. No, we don't want to declare wars, do we? Hmm. We can change one of our Duke's contracts. We could get uh, more taxes. Um, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Um, <laughs> getting the most we can there out of those. Notable guest has arrived. Uh, don't think you're, you're, you're too notable right now. Unless you can suddenly turn this uh, war around for me. Today I was given grave news. My wife Borislava has fallen ill with cancer. I fear this is the end. Only a miracle can save her. Um, ah, damn it. Let's go ahead and send for the physician. Maybe he can help her. Um, we'll have to see about that one. Finally, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky now. Wait, we don't have one? Oh, they must have died. Um, oh, you're quite good, aren't you? You're not so good. Uh, let's go ahead and pay this guy. It's only 35 gold. We can afford that. Uh, if we can get a good court physician, uh, that would be beneficial to us. Do we have enough men here? I think so. It is time to decide how to treat Borislava's cancer. I would recommend drastic measures, but the choice is yours, my lord. The choice is up to my wife. I think it should be up to her, right? Uh, let's go ahead and let my wife make the decision here. Uh, may, hopefully she recovers soon. I think we have enough people to stop this. Let's go ahead and try this this time. Uh, hopefully uh, nothing weird happens with the, the battles. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened last time. It's almost like we were in two different battles. How, how are they walking so much slower than me? Let's go ahead and wait for them to catch up. Uh, one of my servants approaches me holding my slay bean spear in her hands. My liege, while I was cleaning the armory, I noticed that this here weapon has rusted away to almost nothing. What should we do with it? See, that's a big problem we have right now. Is we really don't have the gold to keep repairing these, do we? Uh, I look the weapon over. While no amount of reforging could ever make it battle worthy again... It would be possible to clean it up and preserve it for display at only a marginal cost. 65 gold. Oof, uh, it's too expensive. It's way too expensive. Right, we do have enough men here now. I wonder, can we intercept them before they move? We can. Okay, that's really good. We're going to pick off some of their men. Again, though. Why are they not... Are they not allies in this war? I don't think they are, are they? I think that's why I'm messing up. Let's go ahead and get a new learning perk. Uh, time between mental breaks plus three years, sure. I don't think this army is helping us in this war. And we're actually about to lose the war. Oh, no. Oh, dear. This is terrible. This is terrible news. Till death do us part. My dear Borislava, I might not have loved you, yet I feel... You're passing more acutely than I ever thought possible. You are always there, my constant companion. Did I take you for granted? There are so many things I left unsaid. Oh dear. So we gained some stress here. My wife has died. Uh, she did die of cancer there on the 7th of February. Um, that's, that's not good. With uh, One of our alliances has also expired. Uh, and we're about to lose this. And we've lost the war. <laughs> Oh dear, what does that mean for us? Uh, greetings, cousin. Tales of your misdeeds are told from island to cafe. This war has gone on for far too long, and I'm glad to pull an end to it. I accept your surrender. Uh, so be it. Oh dear. Oh, what does this mean now? I'm scared to zoom out. Uh, my meticulous son and heir Maximus has been released from his imprisonment at the hands of Countess uh, Giuseppe, and is once again free. Uh, imprisonment is a cruelty. How bad is it? Huh. I thought that war was for the Kingdom of Ireland.
It was. Am I keeping... Wait. Oh, I don't have Dublin anymore. Where am I? I'm the king of Alba now. <laughs> What's happened? What's happened? <laughs> so, <laughs> we're not Ireland anymore. Because they took the Irish phone, they get Ireland. However, because we still had the kingdom title of Alba, we now own Alba. So we still have the big part of land, but all of the, the city I built up has now been spent. Oh no. That's... Okay, we're going to have to take Ireland back in the future then, because we can't have a Kingdom of Ireland series if we're not Ireland. Um, interesting. Uh, primary heir of the wrong dynasty? What? Your primary title was set to be inherited by someone outside of your dynasty, Miss... Wait, what? Oh, what's happening here? Is this because we have a weird succession law? So all my son gets is the Eldom of Lancashire. That's crazy. So if we go ahead and look at the Kingdom of Alba, there is currently a succession going on. Um, I need to destroy this then. I need to remove the law, surely. If I remove the law, then I think it goes to my son, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, that goes to my son now. That's good. Okay. Uh, empty council position. Okay, we need a new steward. Uh, we got to do some clean up. My vassal and knight. There we go. You're not a powerful vassal, though, are you? You're a powerful vassal, but you're already my chancellor. Okay, let's just go ahead and put you on there. You're also trusting. Uh, we need some good trusting uh, council members right now. Oh, dear. Um, we can call on house members. We'll do that in a second. What I also need... Because my wife has passed, I do wonder whether I can find uh, a good alliance here. Uh, I don't care uh, if it's matrilineal or what. The Byzantine Empire. 13,000 men. My mother did have ties to the Byzantine Empire, so I think this would be fitting. She has a stutter. That's fine, honestly. Could we also get this without a matrilineal? We could. Okay. Um... Okay, I think we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and send the proposal. Uh, the Byzantine Empire, 13,000 men. That's the kind of ally we need right now. Um, what else? We can call on house members to war. So let's go ahead and call on this because we need to uh, defend ourselves against the Irish Insularist uprising as well. Let's go ahead and call on all of our house members here uh, to help us defend uh, Alba now, I guess. <laughs> oh, I love Crusader Kings 3. You never quite know where the story is going to go. Uh, you can call on your ally. Okay, Wales also, if you could help us in this war, uh, that would be hugely... Uh, I would be hugely thankful for that. Um, do we still... We still control Iceland. Okay, so Iceland is now Alba. So what cities do we control? We have Lancaster down here. And port to... up. There. Wow. And look at our gold income. Oh, that's that's absolutely brutal. Deva. Hmm, losing that war. It's fine. It's fine. It makes it a bit interesting, doesn't it? We need to bring these men back into our territory. So let's go ahead and do that because we need to raise some more men. Uh, to the miserable King Fursu. I'm not even a high king anymore. I I'm a king. Uh, of course, I should join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of East Seax. Uh, so at least some of our allies joining here. Uh, Wales also joining us in the war. Um, Ireland? Wait, what? Ireland are joining us in the war? Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I think I'm breaking. Um, okay, Ireland are joining us in the war, even though they just overthrew us. Um, Alec also joining us in the war there. Oh, my mind is crumbling. Uh, and Munster also joining us, as well as Ennis. So at least some of the Irish uh, vassals there still uh, have high opinion of us, even though the crown has shifted. To the sensible King Fursu of Alba, 
I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister Elena in holy matrimony. May your union bring happiness and fulfillment. Uh, excellent. So we do have the Byzantines as an ally as well now. If we go ahead and click on this. We do have the numbers advantage, but if we invite these guys, it's free. We definitely have the numbers advantage. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, the Queen of Ireland is now also the head of our the Irish culture. Uh, no, it's not Irish culture, is it? It's Anglo-Irish culture. Uh, of course, I should join you in this war. Our foe shall learn to fear the men of the Byzantine Empire. Haha, <laughs> the day the Byzantines came to Britannia is finally here. Um, very nice. Right, what's the situation looking like here? So when it comes to religion, that's a mess. Wow. Um, oh, this looked so much, so much cleaner. What's happened up here? This is a result of me over many characters keep changing religion and reforming religions and now this is the mess we have to deal with uh, um uh, and culture is also a bit of a mess we have some anglo-irish down here and we have some danelanders still we have some scots uh, anglo-saxons we have the cumbrians we have the gaelic in the north uh, as well um wow um but our family actually do control most of britannia at least so there is that all right let's go ahead and unpause. Uh, I think it's safe to do so. Um, we do have about 5,000 men here, so we could actually go ahead and do some battles now. It seems all of our allies have actually joined us um, after the, the battle with the Irish. The Irish are also coming. <laughs> uh, why are we fighting with them? Uh, a commoner of Gaelic heritage has been accosted in the streets of Lancaster over some minor offence. By making a statement in the defence, I could perhaps convince my spymaster... Um, the equally Gaelic of my good character, but I might risk alienating my Anglo-Irish peers. Is it time we grew closer to the Gaelics? And we formed the Gale-Irish? Hmm. The Gales are good people. Uh, let's just go ahead and say that one. Maybe the time has come, because if we look at our culture... Anglo-Irish is a very, very small percentage of the lands that we inherit now. Um, oh, it's not good, is it? It's really not good. So I do wonder, is it worth promote culture acceptance with the Gaelics? Can I click on Gaelic? Uh, acceptance is 58%. Uh, but we have the same heritage as ours anyway. Uh, let's just go ahead and leave that for now. We'll stick it on income because we're going to be uh, quite bankrupt soon. Let's go ahead and turn off that UI uh, as well. Right, we have all of these armies here. We desperately need to start winning this war before we lose this one as well. So let's go ahead and siege the capital of the Isles. That would probably help us. Uh, you're going to go back around there? Okay, uh, do as you please. Um, <laughs> we'll let the armies uh, uh, do what they want. The Byzantines should also be arriving somewhere in the future let's see we can zoom out this far are they sailing there's the byzantines and um, they're going to be sailing all the way around uh, it's probably going to take them uh, a little while uh, before they reach us uh, but let's go ahead and unpause the game uh, because we're we've left one wall or we're left two walls and then we're straight into another one it has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to elgin the capital of my spy master Locals newly settled are not praising me can surely do no harm to her perception of me. We can't afford to spend any gold right now. Uh, it's not worth it. We'll just, we'll just trust our natural swaying uh, capabilities here. Beyond boundaries. Damn High Chiefess Pirates Lava and her thieving lackeys. My marshal stutters out the message that uh, we're bold-faced ghoul. Those folks coerced the common folk of Lancashire into surrendering wealth that was meant to go to me. Wait, what? You... Reeve has my functionaries poised to collect our usual fees, but already I foresee the widows wailing, children starving, and poor families being cast from their homes. A thousand curses upon High Chiefess uh, Pribis Lover's greedy soul. Oof, we can't pick this one because we're st uh, sadistic. Uh, I stand by my right to be paid. Or oh, what happens here? We get stolen taxes. 
Uh, I stand by my right to be paid. Uh, I do indeed. We have a new Archbishop as well. Our old uh, Archbishop died by the looks of it. This is uh, an eventful episode, isn't it? Uh, but I like Crusader Kings when things go wrong. Because recovering from when things go wrong is where most of the fun is. Um... That's why I tried to go into saves with a, a very minimal plan, uh, so you can adapt and, uh, and kind of take things as they go. You might be a king, but you're also an apparent fop doodle. What the hell is that? Uh, the unprovoked anger expressed by my daughter-in-law, Sicily, comes as a complete surprise. She has been under a lot of stress lately, but to behave like this, uh, even though she struggles, it's calming. Okay, interesting. Um, <laughs> we're just going to forgive her for that, apparently. Right, are you guys going to go ahead and siege some more castles, like this one up here? Um, I would be uh, eternally grateful for that. We should probably go ahead and capture these lands. We should move. Uh, we can't really move the capital, can we? We don't have any good land. We have Lancashire. It's a free barony province. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. We're, we're, we're in a lot of tr uh, struggle here. We've still got three months left on this siege. Let's go ahead and let that siege um, play out. We've also got the Vikings to deal with in the north. No. The Vikings. Yeah, we're going to lose the Viking War. Uh, court artifact destroyed. Oh, dear. We're in debt. Okay, we're finally in debt. Uh, that was... Uh, well, we saw that one coming, didn't we? Okay, so we've completed this siege. Um, let's go ahead. We could go ahead and siege some more. I think we need to go ahead and defeat these men. The war score is not looking good at all, is it? I think I need to go ahead and siege this back. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Why are you guys stopping this siege? Carry on. Ah. We gained 300 learning lifestyle experience. Thanks to my wife. Ah, nice. Uh, very nice. Does she like me? Not really. Our faith is hostile, cultural acceptance is low, uh, sadistic is a sin. She's also compassionate, which is not very good. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, but we needed the alliance. Graceful agent, we increase our intrigue by one. Interesting. The momentum of Buchan has given rise to the Gaelic Catholic popularists. Oh dear, just what we needed. A betrothed can marry. Let's go ahead and marry off my son then. And there we go. We do have a new uh, alliance here to the impressive King Fursu of Alba. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your son, Constantine, and my half-sister, Colfled, will be joined in holy matrimony. May their union bring happiness and fulfillment. Uh, excellent. There we go. And uh, we can call allies to war. I do wonder, in our pure stubbornness... Are we stubborn? We're not really stubborn. But as the rightful heir to the Kingdom of Ireland... Could we rename this to the Kingdom of Ireland? <laughs> and so there's two islands on the map? Maybe. Maybe it's time to form a new island. Or maybe we call it Anglo Island. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, let's go ahead and do this war first, though. Um, I think we need to go ahead and address this situation. Ten months on the siege. Okay. Actually, we really, we desperately need to stop these sieges before they go through. I think any one of these sieges could actually give us enough war, them enough war score. And that would be very bad. Oh dear, it's not looking good, is it? Uh, it's really not looking good here. Okay, they're stopping these sieges. That's important. Uh, hopefully we can stop this siege in time. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it, though. Dynasty head has changed. Duchess Dorothy became the new dynasty head of the Egonact Rifling Dynasty. So we're not even dynasty head anymore? Uh, there's a battle going on up here. Okay, nothing really happened there. We really need to go ahead and stop this one. Nope, there's another battle up happening up here. This should help the war score just a bit. Wait. Why did we... What happened? Landless attacker has no armies left. He's landless? I don't know what just happened. But praise whoever just overthrew this guy. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go ahead and enforce demands. Oh no, wait, that's the war against the... That's the war against the Northmen. 
Ah, I was looking at the wrong wall. This is against the Irish. And so, okay, well, I was panicking for no reason. Greetings, Kim First of Albo. Your ruthlessness is enviable. I know when I am defeated, it seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Uh, so be it. So were we fighting them up here? We might have been. Um, uh, I get so overwhelmed, I forget to look at small details like this. Right, let's go ahead and chase down this army. Uh, I do want to wipe them out. And we can siege this back as well. Uh, I think we can take them on. Maybe. Let's go ahead and wait here for our reinforcements uh, to catch up first. Because it seems like they've got a very powerful uh, army. Uh, you could say... Okay, these guys are marching in. So let's go ahead and join our allies here. Okay, we're, we're definitely going to win this battle. That's good. And I think that's their leader actually leading them. Uh, we have a new learning perk as well. Let's go ahead and get healthy. That gives us a median uh, boost to our health so we live a little bit longer. And then we go ahead and look at this. We didn't lose any uh, champions, so that's good. And we're actually winning this war now. Okay, so we can go ahead and siege this back. Uh, I think we'll be doing okay. I think we can win this war. And then there'll be an Age of Peace. However, this is not optimal, is it? Are you guys independent? No, okay. Uh, it's just uh, the war overlay. Right. Uh, I really do wonder, should I form Anglo Island? Uh, I think I might. Uh, so we have... Mm, we need a marshal. Let's see. Do I have anyone who is unmarried in my court? I do. Oh, you're very strong. Let's go ahead and bring in him. Uh, why not? Uh, we'll do matrilineal. There we go. And when he joins us, we'll, we'll definitely go ahead and make him our marshal. So we've still got about 21 days on this one. Uh, so we have a new marshal now as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and uh, plop him in there. This episode has definitely been something, hasn't it? Right, there we go. So we've won this siege back. Uh, we should probably... Ah, okay. This was the wrong colour. Okay, so the Isles don't actually have much land at all. In fact, they have no land from us now. Um, we should go ahead and uh, pursue this army and then we can siege their remaining castles and then this war has been won as well. Okay, this war is looking a lot better than the last one. Probably because we also had the Byzantines though. Uh, we can't forget the help that we had from them, of course. And it looks like the Isles, they're going to be defending their last castle here. Very nice. We didn't lose anyone. Uh, what's happening in the court here? A, a pallid individual who looks as if she has spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. I've heard tell you might want a secret passage installed. I can craft any impure corridor your twisted heart desires. Unfortunately, we don't really have the gold. Ah, but because... Oh, a concealed torture room where I can get away with more. Can we spend gold if we're already in debt? We can. <laughs> Our sadistic nature is seriously putting the kingdom uh, in a financial crisis here. Um, it's fine. We'll deal with it as it approaches. First thing, we got to end this war and uh, send the armies home so we can earn a bit more gold. We have an empty council position again. Another one of my councillors died. My steward this time. Okay, uh, my vassal here. You're also a part of my dynasty. Let's go ahead and make him my steward. There we go. Um, hopefully you last longer than the last one here. We also have few knights just to make things even better. Okay, you guys are sieging that castle. Uh, that's good. Uh, I'm actually happy you're doing this. 12 months left on this siege, though. Uh, this castle's definitely well defended. We need to find a good place to uh, put our capital. And there we go. We can end the war. Let's go ahead and enforce our demands here. Uh, rebelling counties and vassals remain part of the realm. All rebelling vassals are imprisoned by you. Uh, very nice. Let's go ahead and do that. Greetings, cousin. Blessings upon you and your house. I know when I am defeated, it seems I'm left with no choice but to comply with your demands. Uh, so be it. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and disband all the armies as well. We're just about uh, making a profit. We can ransom her. 
You're worth 100 gold, though. So let's go ahead and wait for that. Um, what I might do... Can I revoke your title? I can't because I don't have limited crown authority. We could pass limited crown authority because if I revoke her title, that gives me some more land, which I desperately need. And because she rebelled against me, uh, I think that's very fitting. Um, so let's go ahead and revoke your title. Uh, all of them. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. We can do it without being a tyrant because she's a criminal. She hates me though. That's fine. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to the worthless king first. Who I see no choice but to bow to your decision to strip me of the isles. Uh, just so. There we go. Uh, so we've gained a bunch of new land up here as well. That's nice because this is really easy to defend. We might actually move the capital up here or even over here. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, we need to grant vassals to rightful liege. We'll do that soon. Do you have... Okay, we can't revoke more titles. Ah, you only have claims now, right. What I'm also going to do is actually move you to the dungeon uh, because you did rebel against me. And then I'm going to go ahead and torture you with my new torture room as well. Uh, we spend piety, but that's fine. Um, but we lose some stress because we are sadistic. So let's go ahead and torture her. And then as for this vassal, I'm going to keep her in house arrest just because she's worth 100 gold. So let's wait until she has a bit more gold. Uh, and then that's all good. In fact... I'm going to go ahead and pin you. So then I can easily see um, how much gold you have. So as soon as that ticks up to 100, uh, we're going to ransom her. Uh, and hopefully for a bill of profit. Right. We can hold court. We could also go on a pilgrimage. I think we're going to hold off on this. That was uh, an interesting episode. We're now the King of Alba. Wait, why are we over here? Okay, there we go. We had to unpause. Uh, oh, the sweet kiss of the whip in my look innocent, but it can separate flesh from bones just as well as any knife. A truth, Duchess Gior is soon to experience. She will be sleeping on her stomach for quite some time. Uh, I could listen to her screams for hours. Oh, dear. Um, there we go. Um, she survived the torture by the looks of it. Uh, and our gold is also looking much better now. Uh, but that was an eventful episode. We're now... Instead of the Kingdom of Ireland, we're the Kingdom of Alba. However... We will take back what is rightfully ours eventually. Um, it might take a little bit, uh, but yeah, uh, very interesting times are happening. Uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, <laughs> this series has, has been a blast over the last four or five months, uh, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. We'll be back on Friday with the next episode, so thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.